As most leaders and strategy practitioners are painfully aware, and industry research has unfortunately confirmed, driving effective strategy execution is extremely difficult. Management processes being used today must become more agile, which in our world means better organizational alignment, accountability, and responsiveness. Based on customer experiences, both large and small, we've built a revolutionary approach that we are calling the Agile Strategy Execution Framework. It integrates the strengths of Agile concepts with strategy execution best practices, resulting in an easy-to-use set of principles and techniques that are organized in a meaningful, practical, and quickly deployable way. Now before we begin, it's important to remember that effective strategy execution starts with a solid strategic plan, with smart goals and strategies. Based on this corporate level plan, the first dimension involves the building of area, team, and individual detailed tactical plans, with well-defined projects, programs, run the business activities, and process improvement efforts. Driven by self-organizing and usually cross-functional teams, these plans become real by defining a comprehensive set of metrics with variance from target thresholds. Next, these detailed plans and tactics must be aligned and linked both vertically and cross-functionally and prioritized with those ideas and efforts outside the funding parameters or of lower priority or currently impractical organized into a backlog. The third component of our Agile Strategy Execution Framework involves institutionalizing a single source of truth for all collaboration, engagement, and reporting based on real-time plan updates. Such an ecosystem enables on-the-spot reprioritization and rescheduling of work based on in-the-moment triggers. Next is the driving of formal, leader-driven, cadence decisions that access real-time dashboards and scorecards. Such processes enable proactive resourcing, course correcting, solutioning, and current backlog reprioritization decision making. The fifth component of our Agile Strategy Execution Framework is the implementation of innovation bets. This involves identifying, funding, and executing small opportunities to study, pilot, or test new innovations that reflect current market conditions, new technology, or other advances. Last but not least is a refresh transformation dimension that involves reassessing core business assumptions, updating strategic plans and tactics, reviewing priorities, linkages and alignment, and then pivoting as needed. Now, in addition to these six components of our strategy execution framework, there are two other influencing factors that need prime consideration. The first involves the assessment of the impact of a firm's formal versus informal and preached versus practiced culture. Based on this assessment, leaders can then either use their culture as an enabling driver for managing change or, if needed, initiate processes to drive needed culture change. Second is the fact that leaders personally support and use what we are calling connected governance. This involves using leading-edge digitization experiences to link leadership practices, employee engagement mechanisms, and collaboration processes. In conclusion, what makes strategy execution agile is an ecosystem focused on alignment, both functional and cross-functional, accountability, with data-driven team and individual buy-in and ownership, and responsiveness to changing internal and external landscapes. In this way, strategies and tactics can be continuously adapted, pivoted, and realigned to meet execution performance expectations in an agile way.